Former Prime Minister Imran Khan has said that the regime is lying and the entire country is running on lies. Speaking to reporters who were allowed in to cover his jail trial in a frivolous, politically motivated case, Imran Khan said voters took revenge on polling day, referring to the unprecedented inflation and cruelty inflicted on Pakistanis since Imran Khan's government was overthrown. He said, and quote, our country's institutions are being destroyed, inflation will only increase and we will see a situation similar to the one in Sri Lanka, unquote. Imran Khan additionally said, said his party would continue its peaceful protests across the country against the historic rigging in general elections 2024. The illegitimate Punjab government under the illegal Chief Minister Maryam Nawaz placed a blanket ban on any interaction with illegally incarcerated Imran Khan, including his family, legal team and physicians. Various cases of Imran Khan are ongoing in the courts and such a ban prevents his legal team from consulting with him. Imran Khan's lawyers and party members have challenged the decision in the court and demanded an immediate lifting of the ban. Interim party chairman Barrister Gohar Ali Khan said, and quote, This ban is unconstitutional. Imran Khan's life is in danger and that too from the people who have him in custody, unquote. Salah Ibad Farooq, whose father Ibad Farooq, a former PTI ticket holder, is in the custody of the Pakistani military, has appealed to Pakistan's army chief, General Asim Munir, to release his father. He said, and quote, For God's sake, Uncle Army Chief, Uncle Chief Justice, I beg you, release my father, unquote. Salar's brother Amar passed away from trauma, separation from his father and night raids by the Pakistani intelligence agencies when they were searching for Ibad Farooq last year. 102 civilians are being held in rigorous inhumane conditions by the Pakistani military in violation of Pakistan's constitution. With political instability only rising after historic rigging in Pakistan's general elections, the formation of a shaky, illegal government has failed to inspire investor confidence as the stock market plunged. For the second consecutive session this week, shares at the Pakistan Stock Exchange on Wednesday traded in the red as the index down sharply by 753 points. Despite talks moving along with the IMF signaling an approval for a new IMF program, inflation is at a historic high along with energy prices. Analysts continue to call for political stability for market stabilization. Eight United States senators have sent a letter to President Joe Biden calling on him to offer Israel an ultimatum, expand aid to Gaza or lose U.S. military assistance. The letter released on Tuesday is the latest effort by U.S. legislators to question ongoing U.S. support for Israel amid its war in Gaza. It also comes as Biden himself has shown more willingness to openly criticize Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. They called on Biden to comply with Section 6201 of the Foreign Assistance Act, which bars aid to countries that restrict access to humanitarian assistance. The eight senators said in the letter, and quote, according to public reporting and your own statements, the Netanyahu government is in violation of this law, unquote. More than 31,180 Palestinians have died in Israel's military campaign and more are at risk of starvation and malnutrition, according to experts.